Hello, assalamu alaikum. My name is Dua Sayyid and I'm a graphic designer, but now I'm also tapped into marketing department and I'm working as marketing executive in the heart of Birmingham City Centre. I have learned so many things in the past two years that I can't wait to share with you um, in terms of Facebook advertising, in terms of content creation. You can say I have a good chunk of skills which I really really want to share with you. I just take a step back and take it slow. You can say I built everything from scratch like how university graduate or even younger than that starts from zero to ten in Pakistan. It was literally like that when I moved here. It looked like that I am just starting my career even though I had seven eight years of experience in design but was not in really depth. When I joined my first company, I was working as a social media designer. I wanted to see how I will take myself forward even though if it's not design related things. So I got promoted to social media executive, then I got promoted to marketing assistant. So my day-to-day -day looks like I'm juggling between content creation, marketing strategy, then putting that strategy into design or content, whether it's video, static images, reels, animation, anything, project that on social media. So that's why this series is called Ask the Expert. Earlier this week, I asked you guys in my Facebook group, which is called Learn Graphic Design and Marketing with Duba Sayyid and Akib, and ask anything related to design or marketing if I know the answer, I will make sure I will tell you. And then we decided that we will keep this series in pure English. When I came here, I felt intimidated by lots of accents and whatever I am speaking today to you, I was not like this two years ago. You will see a difference in me, in my communication. This always a learning curve. So in Pakistan, I was like a hot shot, but when I came here, I was not like that. I was. I just got this harsh reality, what it does look like when you're competing with the world. So, and your morale goes down and you need people around you to just boost you up, to lift you up and you're like, you deserve better, you know what's just better for you. So I am just taking that information and telling you guys that do what you feel better and at any stage of your life, if you feel like, you know what, this is not for me. I'm not capable of I think I'm just going to take a back seat. Just remember, a person like me has taken a back seat. It's fine. It's fine. This is not a rat race. This is my motivational talk for Sunday morning. And uh, we'll just uh, start from our question. I selected this question because I think I can create a very detailed video on this. And you guys can even add any additional questions in the comment section below, which I can just uh, shortlist and create a video in my next session. The question I have shortlisted from Facebook group, and I'm going to address it today, is from M. Aves Hamid. And it's a very, very um, important question. The question is, can you explain a bit about personal branding? How a five, six years of experienced designer can do his personal branding? what is the starting point or first step or the whole process if you haven't got any paper pencil notebook i recommend you just grab everything now i'm gonna give you five seconds or just go 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 to start your personal branding you need to reflect what are you who are you who is your brand for? If you are your brand, who you are for? So you need to identify what skills you have, what strengths you have, or what is the unique selling point you are willing to offer. When you are doing self-reflection, understand what makes you better or different from other people doing similar stuff in the same field what makes you stand out so for example i want to build my personal brand and i will say i'm the brand do i say it is the brand i want people to just look up my name buy stuff from my name what i will do is i will look 
further up. People like Stephen Barlett these days, I am following him a lot. Everyone knows him. It's like a very like hot shot in, in the UK and around the world. But what I'm trying to say is, if you look up to him, his YouTube videos, his podcast, you're like, oh, I don't know about any of his brand, but I know his name means his name is the brand and then under his name he has created multiple brands which people know the diary of ceo flight story these are the brands he have created and he's using them as in their podcast videos or you know he invite guests over the second point is you need to describe your brand what is the mission what is the vision what are the values? So for example, if Dua Seed is a brand and my mission is to just help my community, whoever wanted a help from me, I will go out, out my way to help that person if that doesn't require like a financial assistance because again, I'm trying to make business as well, but I'm trying to help as well. So my mission is to help people who are in a similar boat as me. I have plenty of messages on my Instagram and Facebook or LinkedIn that they are willing to come here. If they come here, what are the chances of them getting a job and everything? And a very typical answer from people like us will be, oh, don't come here, it's, it's not worth it, it's, things are too expensive, yada, yada, yada. But on the hindsight, this is not true. There are opportunities, it is hard, it means you need to upskill yourself. I think you're working twice as hard in Pakistan to be in the job. If you come here, you still have to work hard, but you have more exposure, more variety of opportunities to tap into. So I will never say that do not come here, it's not good. I will always say just come here, but make sure that these other factors will come in your way as a hurdle. And if I can be any help for you to just tell them in advance, because I didn't got these things in advance, I just came here like, okay, Okay, I have to do everything from start. Okay, I'm gonna do it. The help of my family, of course, my partner, but then I really want to um, give it forward. So that's my mission as Dua. This is like an example I'm giving it to you. Obviously, there are multiple factors involved. You need to define your principles and value of your brand. So what, whatever you are building up, either it's you or your product. Is it about women empowerment? Is it about sustainability it's is it about clean green so what are the values and principles you are defining you need to do that and then create a portfolio now this is not just for designers this is also for marketeers portfolio doesn't mean your design work portfolio means whatever you are willing to show so you need to create an asset in terms of a portfolio digital physical you yourself the best way to start that, you need to build an online presence. So this can be your point number five. Build your online presence. I'm not sure a lot of you already have um, social media, Facebook, Instagram. I will not say start on all of it, but start from small. If you're comfortable with Facebook, start from Facebook. If you're comfortable with Instagram, start with that. If you're comfortable with LinkedIn, start with that. I said that in the group multiple times. LinkedIn is a high ground right now in terms of professional market because Instagram is more towards like fashion, beauty, yada yada yada. Facebook is towards more like online sales and the older audience, but LinkedIn is the hub of professional. You can just connect with anyone around the world and just, just look at their post and see if they have the capability of hiring you or just, just drop a message to them. And if your pocket allows you, I recommend you having a LinkedIn premium because again, adds the credibility of your account. So don't just have a LinkedIn and then don't post anything. Use LinkedIn like you use Facebook if you haven't started doing that. It's an amazing platform where people are actually looking for freelancers, they're actually looking for jobs, and you can just buy. I'm there, hello, this is my portfolio, hit me up, and then <clears throat> they're gonna actually contact you. If they don't, that's fine. If they do, amazing. Now, after creating your online presence, you need like a substantial visual form of yourself. So some people have professional photographs, you can do it at home, just have a white background or just wear very professional clothes. 
please do not put any wedding related or selfies or anything like that because it's just it's not professional and it just turns off people so have a professional photo if you are not comfortable with your photo for example some people who cover their faces then have a logo simple unique minimal you don't have to be very fancy and you will see a lot of examples online how to create a personal brand new logo uh, let me know if you want me to create one logo for you like a personal brand new logo i can do that as well um the sixth point is very 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 important um why because without that you can't build your brand at all so that sixth point is called content creation now content creation can be in a form of a visual static design it can be in a form of a blog post it can be in a form of a just a text and grabbing a stock free image and uploading that with it so just put a camera saying something about your content and then hit upload try creating content in a bulk like for example create a content for a week's worth and then slowly pushes it to after two days three days again i will look up to steven barlett clinton he posts every day he doesn't just post every day he also posts like four or five times in a day so content creation create a plan of one week then apply as soon as you hit the midweek start planning the next week don't do full month because this day and age social media is all about trends 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 and it changes every day you need to like follow the trend content creation which is six uh, it is related to the seventh point it's called social media strategy so now you need to decide the type of content you have planned which content will go on which platform so you need to align that with your audience your content if it's instagram you know your audience is a bit like younger audience they want their attention span is quite small and you need to catch them in the first three seconds that's why they're gone linkedin they they are spending their time on linkedin to read to see so your audience is different there and then go networking recently i have started going to events myself and i found it very fruitful so i encourage you to go to any networking events happening around you even if it's small big large it doesn't matter if you are going to a networking event and you're coming back with no client because you are not going in a networking event with the client you are going in a networking event to tell other people you exist they will remember it when they needed something from you and i'm not saying that just go there and like, stop babbling you need to pick a right time as well you need to like make it as a conversation and let the other person say you know what your work is good i want you again this is very important if you do something for someone can you politely ask them that if they can recommend you to some similar client similar brand and you can collaborate with them and now collaboration doesn't mean you work for free if you can just do one work for them and then they can give you a shout out or they can give you something in return collaboration is also about if you do something for someone you charge less but then you are building your pr with that person who is willing to work with you again okay, you are the one who is in need not the other person you need to make sure you make that ground to that person come to you and say hey i want you to do this work for me but you're going to charge now what you have to do is you have to monitor your online social presence now social media is like you can post how much you want and don't worry about likes views and everything but the point of the graph going up is not based on your views and your life it's about your presence is getting lost so you need to make sure even the graph is going down you double the post of yours if your graph going up you still stay the same you stay on your own plan if the graph is going down you need to start thinking on changing your strategy a bit more loud a bit more visual a bit more out there so even if the graph is going down and if you're posting four times a day doesn't matter because that four post is there and it will i promise you it will just gonna spike up within within a matter of time if somebody actually likes what are you saying and you're following all the above steps and then with time you need to like evolve your brand with time you have built your own personal brand so you want people to buy into you 
if you don't adapt to changes in the industry in your own style and just like copy pasting and like, oh, I just copy that style, I copy that style, and I don't have my own style, then you are not original. That's the key of your personal branding. And in the last of this video, I will just tell you, remember, be authentic and be professional. Don't let anything stop you from what you're doing. Give your best work. That's what Stephen Barnett said. Give your best work. People are, these days, having a rap race, forgetting that they can do the best work. So try to give a small time, but give your best time. Best work will last forever, and that will make you happy. So I will end this video today, and we'll see you in the next video with some more questions. Let me know in the comment section below what other questions you want to ask the expert, Miss Tua Sayed. Bye-bye.